So it's finally here. The Naruto Storm Connections official trailer came out. And a lot of people are talking about it. Um, I personally, just straight up, I'm a little more optimistic than I feel like a lot of people are at this game. I think that a lot of people saw the trailer and haven't seen a lot of the extra information posted about it. And if you really take a look at it from an outward view, I think there's a lot of cool things that are being brought to the game, especially considering this is the first trailer. Now, I would anticipate there's going to be a lot more coming than what we've seen initially. At least, fingers crossed for that. It's easy too. Um, if you guys have played the Storm games before, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you likely have, you know how CC2 is. Um, <laughs> they're quite funny. So... Let's just talk about it right here. There's two blogs that I want to talk about here. There's the PlayStation blog here and the Naruto official one. So in this one, we have the trailer. So let's just go ahead and just take a look at the trailer real quick and we'll be talking about it. So obviously uh, this is for the 20th Naruto anniversary, right? So um, taking a look here, it's saying just relive the epic moments of the Naruto Storm series, right? So obviously I would presume this is going to be Storm 1 and 4. If you take a look here, it says specifically recut and connected into one. So that's just going to be them kind of putting all the storm games together, right? Is what I'm anticipating that's going to be. I think this logo is pretty cool, actually. Um, just as a little side note on top of that, right? So this is basically more about the story first off. Obviously, the battle between Naruto and Sasuke returns. Not much to talk about it here, but we could see, obviously, you know, for example, this right here is a charge dash, I believe. So you can see, obviously, it's going to be the Storm 4 features put on top of the actual previous stories, which I think is cool, right? I mean, imagine if they use the old battle systems, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the Storm actual collection made you use the previous battle system in the game that you chose to play maybe i'm wrong let me let me know if i'm wrong i actually haven't played storm connections um not storm connections <laughs> this storm collection specifically and that's kind of funny the name is a little close to collection and connections right there which i think makes sense because it's pretty much connecting the storm games right so that's what that is right there um and then obviously you see storm 4 right here that was storm 3 we saw previously and again these just this looks incredible still. I mean, Storm 4 especially just looks beautiful. If there's one thing that CC2 does get right, it's the actual, like, look of the game. Actually, I should turn this up a little more so you guys can actually hear it, right? Now, next is the battle system. The battle system um, is pretty much going to be very similar to Storm 4. I saw a lot of people upset that the battle system is going to be very similar to Storm 4. But if, like... At that point, you can't. Maybe I understand. We've all been waiting for this game for years at this point, so it would have been nice to see some new introductions to the battle system. But I would say this is still the first trailer, right? We don't know exactly everything that's coming. Um, and whilst I'm very hopeful there's going to be new stuff to the battle system, I guess we don't know for sure, so we can't really exactly comment on it. We can only comment on what we see so far, which this looks to be pretty much the same as Storm 4, which. I feel if they're going to do that, hopefully there's just more interesting additions to the game if they don't want to improve the battle system in some way. But these graphics still look very good. I mean, Naruto Storm obviously look very good here. And there's one extra thing that I want to show that is actually new. We see that there's actually a new team ultimate. I'll just play this for y'all right here. So this right here, that was a new team ultimate between Sasuke, Sarada, and Sakura. And... That's good because obviously it's showing that they're going to be adding at least new ultimates or team ultimates to the game based on what we likely have seen from the Boruto anime. Hopefully there's going to be a lot more stages. Like if we take a look here, I don't I don't recall if the if this stage right here specifically was this one available in Storm 4? Man, it's been years. I don't think I would be expected to remember every single stage, but they could likely be adding more stages with the new story that's going to be coming, right? And we'll talk about that in a bit here. But I think the biggest thing that they've shown here is the two new characters we're getting for the Storm Connections, which are Asher and Indra right here. Uh, very, very good to see that they're going to be playable. I think they look like they have really interesting movesets. And I would probably anticipate them to be very good in the game. But we'll see. It'd be pretty funny if they're bad, right? Um, obviously, the footage is still in progress. So there's still going to be additions and fixes to the footage, which, again, could potentially mean that there's going to be new mechanics still brought to the game. Footage was captured with PS5. The game is going to be available on the Sony PlayStation 5 and 4, the Nintendo Switch, 
Xbox Series X and S, the Xbox One, and then Steam, right? So a uh, very good amount of specific, you know, different consoles that are being available, which is nice. If there's one thing I do wish that they add, though, crossplay. At this point, like, a game having crossplay is so, like, massive. If this game doesn't have crossplay, that would really, really suck. I think that's one thing that so many people, including myself, would love to see in this game. Crossplay. They really should give us crossplay. That would be really, really cool, right? But taking a look here at the blog past the trailer, again, we see that there's going to be the entire previous roster, which I think is a given. If they removed characters from this roster, that would just be really stupid. Um, but we see even like Mechanarto. I don't even know if I could find Mechanarto, but like even Mechanarto is here and the Storm original, you know, characters or movesets. So that's really good. Um... So yeah, that's pretty good to see, right? And then obviously Asher and Indra looks pretty good so far. I assume this is part of his ultimates. This could likely be in his ultimate, but I think it's a down combo, actually. This doesn't really scream like ultimate to me. This seems more like his down combo. Now this, that's 100% going to be his ultimate. I'm assuming it's going to go like this. And then you see he has his hand claps together here. And he's just going to go into this mode. And obviously he says right here, he uses his truth sequel orbs and wind style. Um, this looks like a pretty cool shot right here. Now Indra, this could be an ultimate. But I think this is like a close up to where he goes into his awakening. This right here th seems like a down combo to me. And this also does obviously seem to be his ultimate. Um, if this is part of his combos, that'd be really interesting, I guess. But this is definitely his ultimate here. He fights with an attack style focused on fire and lightning style jutsu. And again, they also do confirm in addition to these characters, there will be other playable characters added. I think there's a lot of options they could still give us in the game. Maybe I'll make a separate video on that. Let me know if you guys want to see, like, you know, hey, who could they add potentially to the Storm 5 Storm Connections that we've been waiting for for quite some time. Now, this is the second blog right here, the PlayStation blog. And breaking it down essentially past what we already know. I mean, this is just, you know, obvious talking about the characters we have. Uh, this is, again, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the anime. Um, the new characters here. Now, here's some extra information that this uh, official site didn't know. Um, in addition, while the game is a base on the battle system of the previous series, the PlayStation 5 version supports 60 FPS for the first time, making Ninja Battle action smoother than ever. Now, this, I feel like, is also kind of like, you know, I, I know a lot of us, like when the Storm games were in the past, right, like years ago, a lot of us really wanted 60 FPS for the game, um, especially when they brought the Storm games to PS5. It was like, there's no point in not having it 60 FPS, and it is there now. I don't feel like it's as big as of a deal as it was previously, but it's a good extra change added to it. Now, this is the PlayStation blog, so I would keep in mind, I would assume this is also going to be 60 FPS on the uh, new gen Xbox consoles as well. There would be no point in them mentioning like the Xbox console and the PlayStation blog, right? So I would, I mean, it would be funny if it, <laughs> imagine if it wasn't for some reason, but no, it's, it's definitely going to be also on the new Xbox consoles. Um, now, this right here is where I'm going to be a little hopeful. They state that the battle system is based on the previous series, and I feel like that's also going to be a given. The battle system is going to be based on the previous series, but the wording of it being based on the previous series, I wonder if that means that there are going to be actually changes, because um, again, in the gameplay, we saw very similar to Storm 4, but I would honestly kind of expect to be at least one or two changes to the battle system because every storm game essentially introduced some change to the battle system in some way some addition or something like that so hopefully that's going to be the case this time and it's just not completely copy and pasted especially because this feels like to be an actual new installment in the series rather than something like storm connection uh I keep mixing them up storm collections which is basically advertised to be the storm games put together well this is very similar it obviously just feels more like a new game in terms of how they're presenting it even though the stuff that's introduced so far really seems like it could have just been an addition to storm 4 so hopefully there's going to be a lot more that we haven't seen so far. Um, again, that's where I'm going to be a little optimistic. This is still the very first trailer. I know a lot of people were very excited and being hyped up about this. And it kind of fell flat-ish in terms of people. I feel like people were expecting a little much. Um, and keep in mind, this is still CC2, right? This is still CC2, right? So we'll see what happens. 
the new characters are nice. So just breaking down in total, we have 60 FPS, potential battle system changes, um, new characters at the very least to, I would say like four or five new characters is what we can expect to see. Bare minimum is what I'm hoping to see here. And along with that, it's going to be on the new gen consoles. Story mode is going to be retouched based on what they're stating, right? If we take a look here, brushing up the graphics as much as possible. It does say it combines and re-edits the selected scenes from the four Storm games. So this is interesting. I wonder if they're going to take some scenes out of what we've seen in the previous Storm games. That would suck. Like, what if it's... Like, worst case scenario, it's like the boss battles, right? Because all we've seen in the trailers were pretty much just the actual boss battles. If it's just the boss battles, I feel like that would be unfortunate. I kind of... It would be kind of weird with, like, how the, you know... A lot of the games, like, some games have actual... Well, I feel like most of the Storm games actually do have... Uh, what's the word? I've got the word. Open world, essentially, right? Where you're just walking around the world doing stuff. So we'll see how that's going to turn out. Maybe it's just going to be like kind of Storm Generations where you just play the story mode. There's no open world, but there's still going to be the awesome cinematics and there's not going to be like these many fights. But who knows? Um, hopefully that's not the case. It's just the wording here could be a little worrying, but yeah, there's also going to be a new original game story available. So that's another thing that's added. Again, I feel like it'd be likely that it's based around Asher and Indra, but we can't really say for sure. I think it would be really cool to see like a storm take on Asher and Indra's story, just like with really good graphics and stuff like that. So yeah, again, breaking down everything we have. Uh, again, we have 60 FPS we see here. Asher and Indra are new. Potential game, uh, actual battle system uh, changes. We have the new story, which is going to be touched up as well. So just from a very first trailer, I feel like they did give us a good amount of information. Hopefully we'll see a lot more in upcoming trailers. This game does release in 2023 this year. We don't have a release date, but it's going to be, I would assume, obviously, probably like in... I was assuming like the fall or winter, but we'll see. Maybe they're going to be like, hey, it's going to be the summer, right? <laughs> I doubt it, though. I feel like the fall and winter is a likely time to anticipate this to come out. But let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're excited for the Storm Connections, if you really hope that there's going to be more, maybe you're very underwhelmed, which I understand if you are, just because this information that we have so far, again, really makes us feel like more like a DLC edition rather than needing a new installment. But... Hopefully that's not the case and we get a lot more. So thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.